What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another Rave in the Redwoods video here today on the channel. In this one, we're going to be talking about Rave Mode. One of the things you'll definitely notice immediately upon playing the game tomorrow is that Rave Mode is massively important to not only just the gameplay as a whole, but also the storyline and the easter egg as a whole. So, that said, while this video won't be too long, we'll be talking a little bit about Rave Mode, the effects, and how to go into Rave Mode. Something just very simple and straight to the point here with this. So, that said though, before we get too far into it. If you guys want to check out any of the other videos that we've done on Raven the Redwoods or any of the other multiplayer maps that we've showcased here early, there'll be a corridor annotation on screen right now that you can check those out. If you click those, I believe that'll take you to a power tutorial, some raw gameplay, and then some multiplayer maps as well. So if you guys want to check those out, feel free to, but let's talk about rave mode for this real quick. So first things first, how do you get into rave mode? Something that everybody sees gameplay of, but how exactly do you do it? Well, this is something that really just comes down to random luck or rather just playing the game a little bit. As the zombies in Spaceland, whenever you kill zombies, they will drop things like ammo clips, cash, things like that, different grenades, but it is something that this is now the same effect. It will drop a pouch, as it's called, and what you need to do with this is collect a pouch. You can only hold one at a time, but they drop rather frequently, but if you have one, you won't necessarily notice them or get a drop going with it, but as soon as you activate it or get rid of it, chances are if you kill a zombie, you're going to get one within the first maybe 30 seconds again of being in the action, so you can replenish them rather quickly and always basically have the option to go into rave mode. Now, rave mode only lasts about 30 seconds to I believe a minute or so if I'm guessing that right from looking back at footage and all that but how you actually activate this pouch this rave mode is you have to go over to one of the bonfires in one of these separate areas of the map you can do it at I believe any place that has a fire so pretty much all of the locations all the main areas of the map all you have to do is go over to the fire and in a specific designated place there will be the option to throw the pouch into the fire and when you do that, well, then you enter rave mode, and there you have it. You're into the neon colors, the lucid visions, all that good stuff, and by the way, the slasher's in there, so every so often you might run into him, and he might be chasing you down. So that's something that I think is really cool. It kind of enters this alternate reality type of thing. It's an augmented point of view in terms of the mind, but of course, as we know, there's not anything really there. It's just a paranoia type thing, so the slasher... Yeah, he is real, but he's a lot more real when he's actually in rave mode. But overall, rave mode is a very cool feature. I think it makes things a lot more vibrant, a lot more fun. And of course, is going to play heavily into the Easter egg if I'm making that assumption right with something so crucial and key as to that. I believe that we'll be seeing some really cool stuff here out of rave mode, but overall it's just something that is rather easy to enter, rather important to the gameplay, and something that I think that based on the color schemes, how much it alters the game itself, I think players will definitely enjoy. So rave mode coming to you guys very, very shortly here, within a couple of hours probably by the time this is live. So get ready, get prepped for those zombie streams, those zombies grinds, and we're going to be hoping to get on top of that as well with this. So thank you dude so much for watching, so we're going to wrap it up, I think just real short, simple, and sweet sweet, letting you guys know a little bit about rave mode, how to get into it, and of course, what all you can expect here with this. So that's it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything Infinite Warfare, DLC 1, COD 2017, Modern Warfare Mastered, all that good stuff. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me here outside of YouTube. Practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there. And finally, if you guys want to check out any of the other videos that we've discussed, Regarding DLC 1 early here the past couple of days showcasing footage and gameplay, click the annotations and cards on screen right now to take you guys to those videos. But other than that, thank you dudes so much for watching. My name is Nicolai Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Take care and peace.